Hi, welcome to another Studio X video. And today we are going to see how to extract Tableau data from a web page. So this is what our use case is. This is the web page from where we want to extract the information. And as you can see in the web page, we have the information which is following the same pattern. So you have a quote, then you have an author, and then there's a link that is telling about the author details. Similarly, now you have another text box that has the quote, the author, and the link to the author's uh, section where it is telling about the author's details. So as you can see, it is following the same pattern across whole page, and the information is actually spanned across multiple pages. So you can see a previous button here. It means we are at the page number nine, as you can see. So let me just go back to the home page. And there we go. It is following the same pattern across various pages. And you can see the next button to go to the next pages. And then you will again find the same information, uh, same information in terms of the pattern. So this is what the use case is, how we can get this information from all the pages inside a table. Okay, so let's see how we can do this in a Studio X. Let's come to the workspace. This is the Studio X screen. So first let's connect to the Excel sheet with which where we want to save the data extracted from the web page. All the data in the tabular format is what we're gonna save in this Excel sheet. And this Excel sheet I've saved in a local drive. Okay, so let's connect with this Excel sheet first for which we will use a resource called use Excel file. This helps you to connect with an Excel file, right? So this is where my file is, which is called codes.xlsx, which is this width. And there I go, I will browse. Let me paste the path, which I have just now copied. And this is the Excel file where I want to paste the data. Now you can leave the reference as it is because we are just using one Excel file across whole automation. So no, no need of changing the reference. Next thing is we want to go to the web page and get the data extracted. For that, we will use the use application browser resource. This helps you to connect with the web application. It should be within the use Excel file resource because we want to access the data from the Excel file inside the uh, inside the this particular scope, which is the browser scope. So the data from the browser has to be copied in a sheet and the sheet is inside the Excel, right? So that is why we have to take care of the scoping here. Now indicate your, your, your web page. So keep it open, click on indicate and you can see a blue screen, left click mouse button and then it will automatically capture the URL and screenshot. Now, once we have connected with the application, now let's start extracting the data. To extract the, the, the data that is following the same pattern and take it into a tabular format, we use an option called table extraction in the UFR Studio X. So click on the table extraction button and you will see a wizard getting opened. Now, to get the data in the table, you have to keep adding the columns in your table, right? So start with the first column. The first column that we want is the quotes from all the pages. So click on add column and there you go. This should be your first column data that is quotes. So this is where you have to you have to guide the robot that this is where your first column data is. So this becomes your first row and this becomes your second row of the same column. So you just have to guide the robot for the two rows and rest of the rows will be automatically identified by the robot, right? So that's how our first column is done. You can see new column one, right? Now the next column that we want is the author detail relevant to the same row. So add column and just uh, guide the robot for the first two rows. So this will be my first row and this will be the second row. And we are done, we got the another column. And now the third column is a link, right? So this, if we just, uh, you know, tell the robot that this is the information that you want to extract uh, by giving the only text information, then it will only extract the text that is visible on the screen. It means it will extract only about text from this web page. So to actually get the link behind your text. So you can see it is, if you hover to hover your mouse to this, it is actually a link, right? Let me just click. And if I say open a new tab, 
you can say this is actually a uh, information of the author so it is actually a link not just a text so to to enable and to capture these kind of information you have something in the settings so go to the settings and say automatic extraction of urls and image sources click on this option and then you will be able to get the information behind the text in the form of a url so add column and guide your robot for the first row of that column and this will be the second row of the same column and there you go you have new column 3 in the form of url right you can see the difference new column 3 and new column 3 url is what is going to give you the url behind the text so now we are done with the extraction of the information in the first page now to tell the robot that we need the information from all the pages on this web page, which is following the same pattern, we have to give the next button to the robot, right? So for that, you have to click on the next button and this will become your target. So next button, we are done. So you can see the next button is there. So the, so the robot is gonna extract all the information, click on the next button, again, all the information, click on the next button till it reaches the end of the page or do not find the next page button. Okay, so we are done. Next thing we have to do is just rename the columns which the robot has extracted. So it is a default name. You can just rename it to something more meaningful. So let it, the first one be the quote and the second one be the author. Uh, let the third one be about and the last one be about link click on the save now it is actually not required because it is only going to extract the text which is going to be about across all the rows so you can actually delete this uh, this column but let's just keep in and see what happens if if you just get the text and not the link okay so there you go then click on the save and return to studio option and there you go, you have extracted the data. Now, where do you want to paste the data? We want to paste it in the Excel sheet called Code Summary, right? So click on the plus button and you can see the Excel and this is your sheet name and we are done. Getting the data from the website and saving it into the Excel. Let me run the automation. So done with closing the Excel file and let's click on the run button. And keep checking the URL, right? This is page one and the robot has started running and it will keep clicking on the next page button and it will be extracting the information and putting it back into the Excel sheet. So as you can see at the, at the URL, you can see it's now at page three, now the page four and similarly page five and now the six, seven and similarly eight. And now it is at page number nine. And there we go, page number 10 as well. The bot stops if there is no next page button on the web page. It means we are at the end of the page. So that is how the robot knows when to stop while extracting the information, right? So now once it extracts, it will copy back to the Excel sheet. So the robot is actually working on the Excel. It's running and the last run successful. Let's go back to the Excel sheet and see what we have we got. So there you go. We have quote column, author, about and about link, right? And if you see this, right now the, all the rows is what you have actually caught from all the pages right and then you have the author detail and the about and the about url right so you do not have to do manually because it was following the same pattern across the whole pages so that's how you can 
utilize the table extraction information wherever you see that there is a data which is following the same pattern and can be pulled into a tabular format. So that's all for today. Thanks for watching.